Boom. Welcome to Three Minute Thursdays. My name's Tom Dyer, and today's move is a nest. Now, if you don't know what a nest is, I'll show you the simplest version of a nest. It's when you land the bottle in the shaker. Boom, nest, okay? You can do a nest over the shoulder, into the shaker, but the one I'm gonna show you today, and I'll show you some variations as well, perhaps, is behind the back, into the nest, into the shaker. Now, let's just take the bottle away for a second and talk about the grab of the shaker, which is gonna help you get this move a little bit easier, a little bit better. So a lot of people make the mistake by holding the shaker near the base. Now when you do that, you've got a lot of small movements will make the open end of the shaker move around a lot. So when you come to try and catch the bottle inside the shaker, it becomes more difficult. To have more control over the shaker, hold it near the top of the shaker. And then, even more so, you want to have one finger. If you want, you can have two fingers free. And what these are doing, these will help push the bottle into the shaker if you're slightly off target. So if you throw the bottle up and you're slightly off target, your fingers will help move that bottle into the shaker. So you're basically making that wide part of the shaker even wider with your fingers. So you've got that extra space to catch the bottle in the shaker. Now what you want to start with is just simply throwing the bottle up and trying to catch it in the shaker, okay? You want to maybe get into the habit of then, as you catch it, grabbing hold of the bottle as well, okay? We're just doing the simplest version here today. So you're throwing it up and you grab it into the shaker. If you can grab the bottle before it makes the, like this, Okay, I've grabbed the bottle, listen, boom, and then it drops in. Then you've got a lot more control over the bottle landing in the shaker. And that detail will help you later on when we start talking about multiple object moves. Now, if you're gonna do the behind the back into the shaker, you can do it from under your arm, all right? You can do it one spin, or you can do it behind your back, okay? Behind your back so your arm is out of the way is probably more difficult. If you do it under your arm with one spin, as the bottle comes up, it's coming up right here. You just have to move the shaker into position and catch it. Watch, up, you move it into position and catch it, okay? So work on that one first. Like I say, start here, okay? Then perhaps you can go behind your back. And then if you're more confident, take it over your shoulder and land it in the shaker like this. I've done an over the shoulder video which you can look at here. It'll teach you how to do that move. So you can make yourself this small sequence in front, Take it out, tennis grab, behind. Take it out, tennis grab, over the shoulder. Boom. That is what we call a nest. Now there's many other variations of a nest when you use other shakers, when you can do um, multiple bottle nests and all this kind of lovely stuff. But work on that to begin with. Get used to landing that bottle inside the shaker and getting it as clean as you possibly can. Cool. I hope that helped, that is the nest move. This was Three Minute Thursdays. If you liked what you see, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more videos and be notified, if you click the subscribe button and then there's a little bell next to it, if you click on those, then you'll be notified every time I upload a video. This is Thursday, this is Three Minute Thursdays. I upload these videos every Thursday, surprisingly. So until next time, I'll see you then.